Hello, America. It's us, Canada. And we want your vote this fall for President of the United States. We've talked it over with Mexico, and we agree that you have an addiction to creepy, dangerous politicians, and you're headed for an overdose. So this is not an invasion. It's an intervention. Why do we want to be your president? Two words. These guys. Now, we don't get a lot of what we see in America, so this is just a summary of how we understand your candidates. Execute the gays, pretend you're not gay, execute or pretend, depending on who's asking, prevent gays from marrying, but grant them all the divorces they want. Or as we like to call them, tinker, tailor, soldier, douchebag. Then there's Ron, the only honest man in the race. But seriously, America. <laughs> seriously. In the other corner, a man who gave a drunk Congress the keys of the country and then was surprised when they wrapped it around a telephone pole. Mr. Obama, we're Canada, and even we think you're too polite. So take a lesson from the most passive-aggressive country on earth. Just agree to whatever they want, and then when it's time to put up, drop the mic and slim shady right off the stage. Or as we call it up here, pulling a Kyoto. Now we are aware your constitution says candidates have to be US born, but it's not like anyone has read it lately. So maybe Canada wasn't born in America. But you know what? Neither was America. Because that would be physically impossible. So instead of checking the box for a least objectionable millionaire this fall, why not vote for Canada? The Canada Party. America, but better.